Women's rights group Women's Declaration International held an annual three-day convention in San Francisco. On the second day, protesters started showing up to their hotel. They've actually locked the hotel entrance to keep them out, essentially also keeping us in. Flyers that contained a logo from the Communist Party USA were distributed helping organize the protests. The group also promoted the protest on social media. Uh, we eventually ended up experiencing uh, some really severe intimidation tactics. Dansky said that for the most part, protesters stayed outside of the hotel, but things escalated as time went on. At one point, one of the protesters took a hammer to the hotel's main sign and uh, attempted to destroy it. Dansky said that eventually almost a dozen police officers were present, plus hotel security. They really wanted to intimidate us into not meeting because uh, this, this movement, the so-called gender identity movement, really does not like it when women gather as a sex class to talk about our rights. There was also an art gallery launch that featured all female artists. The gallery was unrelated to the convention, but many members went to support the opening. But then by the next morning, uh, it had been vandalized as well. And someone had written the phrase, no turfs on our turf. TERF stands for Trans Exclusionary Radical Feminist and is a term the protesters were using to describe members of Women's Declaration International and the art gallery artists. Despite the pushback effort, the convention still happened as planned. We talked about women in academia. We talked about the experiences of detransitioners. We had no intention of engaging with any protesters. We weren't interested in counter-protesting. We were there to have a women's rights event and, and we followed through with it. After meeting, the group firmly plans to continue their advancement of women's sex-based rights globally. Reporting in San Francisco, Jason Blair, NTD News.